Is Monster Hunter Wilds really playable on the Steam Deck? Considering it's made it into the most played Steam Deck charts for March, I thought I'd better go and take a look. And really, people seem to be a glutton for punishment. Or it truly is the only way in which they can play, then I can't really blame them. But it does call into question the legitimacy of the most played chart right now, and whether those hours are all played on the Steam Deck, or whether if you've just done some hours that month on the Steam Deck, it still counts all of your play time okay, towards it. As you can see here, with my best efforts to get even a slightly legible image, running this at 800p, lowest settings, frame rate capped to 45, although it's not even hitting 30, disabling VSync and putting XESS onto performance, probably could push to ultra performance, but then it really is barely illegible, does sit then around the 20 frames per second mark, and I will have to admit it is kind of playable, although it doesn't look very great. I was able to take down monsters and play the game with not the greatest looking graphics. Definitely get some weird black bars here and there, and a bit of stutter, making even wielding slow weapons even more challenging. But even solo, I was able to take down a monster, although it did take a good half an hour. This one does move around a lot though, so doing it solo definitely took longer than I would have hoped for. However, this is now available on GeForce Now, so if you are able to play via your Steam Deck with the streaming service, then you can definitely get a much better experience. I do feel like there may be some crossover with the statistics as GeForce Now can run this at full ultra graphics at 1920 by 1200 which makes a very crisp image on the Steam Deck running locally and if you need a guide for that then check out the link in the description below. It's very easy to install this now and then you will get a much better full clear stable 60 frames per second experience. As I said I do wonder if that chart is counting just running it at all on the Steam Deck and then if you run it on a PC or elsewhere all of the hours count towards it. I don't believe that people are spending a long time playing Monster Hunter Wilds on the deck but then you can let me know in the comments below if you are one of those people and what settings you're running as well as just how bad it actually looks. Keep your eye on the channel for the latest monthly most played chart coming very soon. Thanks for watching and see you in the next one.